Ingeborg loves being surrounded by pretty things, and she enjoys selling them too. She has set up shop in the heart of the old town of Kappen, in a house once owned by her grandfather, where she played as a child. Hello, my name is Inga Bolz. My name is Inga Bolz, and I come from Kappen. I spent a couple of years living abroad, but was glad to come back. I run a little cafe and shop here, where I sell home accessories from Scandinavia. What I like most about the town is its closeness to the sea, its narrow streets, old houses, and the people. I'll show you three of my favorite places. Inga's first recommendation is the place from where Kappeln took its name. In the town center, the St. Nicholas Church Tower stretches into the sky. It was erected by sailors in the Middle Ages as a token of thanks for their safe return home. People soon began to settle around the church, and they became known as the Kapalina. My first tip is the St. Nicholas Church in the heart of Kappen. It's more than 200 years old, and my ancestors were christened and confirmed here. Fortunately, the church is not just for services, but also open to visitors. Let's have a look. The church can accommodate 1,200 people, and not only in prayer. It's also a popular venue for concerts. In keeping with the style of such chapels, everything inside is made of wood and painted in varying shades of grey. Inga Bolz is particularly fond of the colours. <laughs> Another very popular place in Kapeln is the bridge, which opens every hour on the hour. But Inga doesn't just want to watch the ships passing by, she wants to go out in one. Her second tip takes us to the wharf. Most people who live here have their own boat, and there are plenty for visitors to hire. Sailing is the nicest thing you can do around here, and the Schlei is one of the most beautiful sailing areas in Germany. I share my hobby with my family. We like to sail to Schleimünde, which is where the Schlei flows into the Baltic, and that's where we'll go now. Anyone who wants to sail in this estuary has to have a skipper's license for seafaring motorboats. After all, the Schlei is a part of the Baltic Sea. The old Schleimünde lighthouse marks where the open sea begins. We turn around and head back towards the Kapern Harbor, where Inga is going to show us her third recommendation. There are plenty of restaurants to choose from, but Inga knows exactly which one she wants to show us. My last tip for today is a harbor restaurant called Stark. There's no menu. You just choose the ingredients yourself, and the chef, Nobat, makes something delicious out of them. The restaurant is known for its freshly caught and prepared fish. Hello, Norbert. Customers discuss what they'd like to eat with chef Norbert Stark, whose dishes are inspired by Asian cuisine. Guests are welcome to watch him as he cooks, and they enjoy doing so. But getting a seat is not always easy, so it's advisable to book in advance. Inga and her friends have ordered a fish platter with fried potatoes, place and fried eel. As far as they're concerned, anyone who spends a day like this on the Schlei is bound to come back hungry for more.